All right, guys, welcome back to the CO2 basal experiment. As you guys seen eight days ago, we chopped our basal back, and here we are. All right, already outgrew uh, the lights that were sitting on top of the buckets here, so I ended up rigging up uh, something for the CO2 and just put some clear covers over the top of it this morning on the CO2 fed side uh, the leaves were not touching the plastic we come back eight hours later and they are touching so <laughs> uh, it takes a long time for basil to get established from seed but once it starts to put on growth it takes off now I do have one uh, little defect going on in the non CO2 bucket but first I guess let's go over to the CO2 bucket and I'll show you what I got going on uh, if you can't already see it. I'll be a little so closer. What, did I, what I ended up doing there is to get the um, tube to the top of the leaves there I kind of taped the tube to the top of the plastic um, humidity dome and so these leaves are getting some good CO2 concentrations here and it's working out very nicely now uh, those white spots that you see on top of the humidity dome those are actually markers from last year because um, I planted a whole bunch of different varieties in a in a flat and I just never cleaned it off but regardless uh, it is touching now it's already outgrown it's it's a vessel here in about a day or two so I'm going to have to remove this and start thinking about how I can capture the CO2 in a containment uh, type device to continue on with the grow um, but let me get even closer I'll remove the dome I just kinda wanna show you why it's good to snip back or pinch back your basil like I was suggesting in the first video all right, and here's a close-up of it, guys. And see what's taking place there? By pinching it back, it ended up forking and creating two stems off one plant, all right? Normally, it would take two plants to create two stems, all right? But basil's really pro prolific, obviously, because look at what happened here in eight short days. Keep pinching back, keep pinching back, and what you'll end up with is a bush, from one plant really really cool love grown basil man it's awesome but got some really good growth going on there the CO2 I think is helping out uh, a little bit uh, in terms of height and growth growth but I don't know if it's necessarily worth all the effort I'm gonna continue on with the grow but let's look at what took place on the non CO2 side uh, I did have one uh, plant that kind of struggled uh, at the get-go. In fact, I thought I was going to lose it and then in the last couple of days it kind of rebounded. Okay, here's my non-CO2 side. Uh, as you can see, this plant right there, that one right there is, is probably out of all of them the, the best plant I got. and It hasn't been supplemented with any type of additional CO2 or anything like that. Um, it is just, it's, it's just kicking butt, man. It's awesome. Uh, got some beautiful green leaves going on in there this one right here uh, just got stunted when I pinched it back uh, I thought I was gonna lose the doggone thing it was just struggling so bad and then the last couple of days I started really kicking on some leaves here so I'm gonna leave that one alone and I'm gonna take two of the best plants again and I'm gonna continue out the grow I'm gonna uh, do some sort of a of a vessel I guess to contain the co2 on one and uh, let this one keep going on its own but I'll be honest with you guys that one to me really does look like the healthiest plant so I don't know if there's very much benefit uh, by really increasing CO2 levels I know medical marijuana growers I know they use the gas canisters and they really pump the parts per million up in their grow rooms and they see some really significant results I, I do not at this point with just some basil and some cheap uh, sugar uh, combo type of thing not to say that I'm gonna completely stop altogether um, uh, but I don't see a huge huge benefit here yet And here we are about 12 days later guys and here is what our little experiment has brought us in the back here is our 
uh, basil that has been grown, given supplemental CO2. I ended up putting a gigantic bag over the top of it, poked a hole in it, a couple of holes so it could breathe type of thing, and I, and I kept feeding it uh, CO2 from our homemade CO2 containment system. This side right here was grown without it. Now, I think it's a little bit unfair to look at this because this one right here just was clearly stunted and shocked from uh, the early pinching. So this is not a good representation, but I think this one is. It's a little taller and leggier, okay? These ones are much more stout, shorter, bushier. I do see a difference. I see a small difference in growing uh, using supplemental CO2. These are just much more bushier than that. So I'm going to continue to do it, but um, I think it's time to clone some of these guys here because I was going to clone the first pinching. But you know what? We ended up eating them. So this was just a quick update video on the CO2. I'm going to pinch them back again. I'm going to continue growing. So I guess we're going to turn this into a one part series, into a two part series, into a three part series. Okay, guys? And keep in mind, this is why we want to keep pinching it back. Do you see what we got going on here? We have two stems. There would have just been one one tall stem. We keep pinching back and pinching back and laterals keep coming out. These are going to be gigantic basil bushes in just a little while. Okay guys, so anyway, uh, tune in, check out my uh, clone video here on how I'm going to end up cloning these. There's a number of different cheap and easy methods to do that. So thanks for uh, tuning back in. I'll do some close-up shots real quick and uh, peace out. Check those out, man. That Those are just a couple of beautiful beautiful Genovese basil plants right there really really digging it seeing some good bushy growth going on there we're gonna get some uh, a good harvest out of that I'm gonna be eating some and cloning some here so and then of course this isn't bad guys this isn't bad at all but you can see the legginess in it look at the legginess without the CO2 you see that not as bushy. Leaves are drooping a little bit. That one's stunted, but look at that. No drooping leaves. Side shoots are a lot better. Look at all those side shoots that are coming off. I'm fairly impressed. I don't know. You guys be the judge. In fact, tune in for part three. And we'll all be the judge. Peace.